Good evening. Thank God we are back to our sexual purity short videos. And today we are going to Romans chapter 1 verse 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, only acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be, verse 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You see, when God gave me this Bible passage, I was like, it's not going to look like tautology. And by tautology, I mean that like repetition, because we have talked about our body is the temple of God. So again, the Bible passage we are using again is something like present your body to God is for the Lord. So you are saying the same thing now. And then I realized that that is the word of God. That is how the word of God is. It's just God, because the spirit of God is one. It's just God speaking his word in different verses, but it's the same thing he's saying. If God says, that shall not commit fornication in Genesis, he will say it again in Exodus. He will say it again in Leviticus. So the word of God is, is the same. So today, the Lord is admonishing us that that is our reasonable service. All the people that their pastors will be sleeping around and they will be like, he's man, he's a man, he's... he's, he's um, what do I call it? Like his flesh. Don't judge him. Judge him not so that you cannot be judged. <laughs> I'm here to tell you. Sorry, I'm not judging. But we have to preach the word of God. You see, the Lord wants us to present our bodies unto him. If you are working for God, especially some choir members, I'll be some choir leaders that will be sleeping with choir sisters. Your most reasonable service that God requires is for you to make your body holy unto the Lord. So what are we trying to say? And that second verse is that I'm being not conformed to the world. I've been saying some things on my podcast and some of the prayer meetings I've been doing that there is difference between the gospel of Jesus and the world. These two things cannot mix together. The word of God, the true gospel gives life. The church is a place you go to and by the time you are living, the, all your bodies are, are, they are lifted. So God is admonishing us again today that we should not be conformed to the world. That the world is doing it, you as a child of God, don't do it.